on my way and sometimes I just like putting on the uh, camera just to, just to film it's, it, to me it's so amazing it looks like you're not paying attention to the road but you are you know you're playing paying complete attention to the road get some water off the windshield and the camera's just sitting there doing its own thing and you can talk uh, you can narrate you can uh, do whatever you like just another day in Texas a nice winter day in Texas man I'm not gonna be able to handle many more of these winters with 70 degree temperatures and warm winters thank God for global warming <laughs> oh anyway uh, I'm just I'm just a person who likes the warm weather Born and raised in South Florida, Broward County, Pompano Beach to be exact. Narrow it down, Liberty Park. Liberty Park, Ely High School. And so to go from Florida to Texas, that was just heavenly. That was just divine to go from warm to warm. But it does get a little colder out here. You know, about every two or three years we'll get some snow about every three or four years it'll be some snow that's stay on the ground for a little while but it's not buffalo new york or iowa or south dakota north dakota but to me that gets cold so just a regular day in the life of a preacher on the way to church in the morning to prayer the psalmist says early will i seek your face start the day off with morning prayer and I like to go and thank God for what he did on yesterday on Sunday had a tremendous day yesterday and it's again uh, visitors new people folks getting their heart right with the Lord all this stuff just makes it a tremendous day praying for the sick watch God do his thing uh, and then that night we went down to Colleen our mother church pastor James Rosario and uh, we went down to our mother church and it was the farewell service uh, for Joab and Jay going into uh, Mexico. Uh, missionary, pioneer, pastors uh, in Mexico. And so it was a, uh, a, uh, a wonderful time. He preached his farewell sermon, had a farewell fellowship. Other churches came down from uh, Waco, Belton, Texas, Copper's Cove, Texas, Temple, clean there, obviously. Uh, but it, to me, it is like the Bible says, um, behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It's joining together, it's, it's cross-pollination of congregations, it's rekindling friendships and relationships and seeing people and, and worshiping God together with a common vision it was just a great day uh, yesterday in uh, Sunday service and I'll tell you something these new preachers normally a farewell sermon uh, they're not skilled in preaching they're just starting out for the most part uh, farewell sermon sometimes 15 minutes to, uh 20 minutes now lately these guys in a farewell sermon been like 40 minutes 45 minutes I'm like hey 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 dude <laughs> you know keep it short you know but praise God whom shall I send and uh, who would go for us this is our thrust as a fellowship uh, discipleship church planting reaching the world the gospel of Jesus Christ and it's to me I've been here since uh, 1987 and uh, to me it is still exciting it is still uh, mind mind blowing just a college over there to the uh, to the right you know uh, Temple College and in life, you're going to give yourself to something. 
you're going to give yourself to something. Uh, some people are going to give themselves to things that are temporal. Some people are going to give themselves to things that are eternal. Uh, I had that choice back in 1987. I went to college. I, I joined the army. I started a family. I started on a career path. But for me, but for me, uh, God called me to a specific calling. And I was captured by that holy calling. That's the Veterans Hospital over there, uh, the VA hospital, Temple VA Hospital. It's a major hospital in this area, uh, servicing uh, a good chunk of the uh, Central Texas area. Central Texas, South Texas, North Texas, they come from, I've seen them come from Georgia just to come to this uh, uh, VA. Can you imagine what that travel allowance was like? And I gave myself to this, and it's still amazing that you can come in, give your life to Jesus Christ, uh, be born again. Uh, God could place a calling on your life and, you know, instead of sending you to four or five years of seminary school, is hands-on discipleship. And you can go from uh, uh, Kuda Brown drunkard to being transformed in a moment's time uh, by the blood of Jesus. And now you're on your way to pastor a church, to pioneer, do a work for God eternal that's still mind blowing to me that's still mind mind boggling you know most people uh, you, you, you ask people about their past uh, have you done any drugs uh, yeah okay you can't work here uh, you know we're gonna we're going to check your urine for uh, specific things they check for cigarettes now uh, do you smoke yeah okay you can't work here they don't care about you've been born again. They don't care about you've been changed. If they catch that stuff in the sample, okay, you can't you can't work here. But yet you can come into the house of God in a moment's time, be changed by the Son of God, and you can go out and do a tremendous work for God. Uh, that is that is amazing. You know we don't have twenty elders and associate pastors, twenty associate pastors all lined up. Uh, you know, and everybody wanted who's going to preach the next, you know, Wednesday night service. No, we may have one pastor, assistant, and, and an associate, depending on if you're big enough. The rest of y'all, no, y'all are getting out of here. Go start, go start, go replicate what you've seen done in the mother church. You go and uh, win souls. You go. You know, it wasn't Jesus and the 12 elders. Jesus was preparing those men for a specific task uh, to go out and uh, win the world. And the Bible says uh, that these men who have turned the world upside down. Now, what do they mean upside down? Do they mean they flipped it on its axis? Uh, do they mean the world as, you know, started going backwards in its rotation and earth going backwards in its rotation? These men who have turned the world upside down have come here also. They have flipped the world, uh, the, the religion of the world. Uh, you know, it's not about the, uh, the, the rituals and the routines. It's about a relationship. And they're going saying, you must be born again. You must be born again. You know, it's amazing. We go on missionary trips uh, I go with my pastor, other pastors, and uh, there are times I go by myself. Uh, but we go on missionary trips, and uh, I'm asked all the time, uh, well, what, what are you going to do when you go on those missionary trips? I say, we're going to try to get some people saved. Are you going to build houses? Are you going to establish a medical tent? I say, there are other people who will go and do those things, but uh, we're going to get some people saved. I mean, are you going to pass out food? Uh, there are other people who will go and do that, but 
we're going to try to get some people saved. We're, we're going to get some people saved. Uh, tell them that they must be born again. That Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And we're going to tell people to repent and believe the gospel. Uh, and it's mind-blowing. They say, you're going to do what now? We're going to get some people saved. Just like we do here in uh, America, in our city, in our state. We're going to get some people saved. And now, around the world, over 2,700 churches have been established through our efforts. 2,700 churches. Now, what would be what would be better if I say we have a church with 2,000 people in it? You say, hey, wow, that'd be that'd be great. Or if I say we have 2,700 people, rather 2,700 churches around the world. That's what we're called to do. That's what that's who we are. We're Christian fellowship churches, Christian fellowship ministries. And we believe in uh, church planting, discipleship, raising up couples to launch them out to do a work for Jesus. Pastor uh, Mitchell uh, is quoted. He has so many quotes, so many wonderful things. It's quoted as saying, uh, get them in, get them saved, get them out put them out on the harvest field and I'm at the church now getting ready to go in and pray uh, thanks for your time uh, God bless you just want to get you started in a day of the life of a preacher of a pastor and so I'm praying for you and I'm praying for uh, each one of these subscribers these uh, uh, followers and uh, friends I'm, I'm praying for you and I pray that God will move in your life and God will bless your life and uh, that the call that God has placed on your life, uh, that you'd answer it, that you do, that you do God's will. Thanks for watching. God bless you.